Row1.txt, Notepad window, text editor, editing. Remember this is not teaching man teacher. It is useful for recalling when exam coming man student. Just close eyes eye and listen. Based on G scheme for electronics engineering group. Subject, Advanced Communication System, 17656. These are mostly important questions which is always repeat, form top. To end it reduce repeated changes. X question 1 is more important than 2 in notes. And note warning sign warning sign that this is not all chapter. Download link is below. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer Advanced Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer 1. List different display methods used in radar. Explain any one display method. ANS, types, 1M A scope display B scope, E scope, and F scope displays plan position indicator, PPI, explanation, 3M A scope display. A beam is made to scan the CRT screen horizontally by applying a linear sawtooth voltage to the horizontal deflection plates in synchronism with the transmitted pulses. The demodulated echo signals from the receiver is applied to the vertical deflection plates so as to cause vertical deflections from the horizontal lines. In the absence of any echo signal, the display is simply a horizontal line, as in an ordinary CRO, as indicated in the diagram. A scope displays range V slash S amplitude of the received echo signals. The first blip is due to the transmitted pulse, part of which is deliberately applied to the CRT for reference. In addition to this there are blips corresponding to I, ground clutter i.e., echoes from various fixed objects near the transmitter and from the ground. 2. Grass noise i.e., an almost constant amplitude, and continuous receiver noise. 3. Actual targets. These blips are usually large. Diagram. 2. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer. Or B scope displays the B scope displays signal amplitude as a function of azimuth. This intensity modulated display has azimuth angle along the horizontal axis and range along the vertical axis as shown in FIG. Normally used in an airborne radar, the B-scope display has the problem of cross-range dimension getting distorted i.e., if two targets are at a constant cross-range, they still appear at different separations at different ranges. Diagram E-scope displays the E-scope display is similar to B-scope display, and displays signal amplitude as a function of range. 3. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer. F Scope Displays. The F Scope displays elevation track angle error, ETAE, Y axis, as function of azimuth track angle error, ATAE, with the center of the display indicating antenna's beam axis location. The displacement of the blip from the center is an indication of the position of the target WRT the antenna beam axis as shown in FIG. Diagram Plan Position Indicator, PPI This is an intensity modulation type displays system 
which indicates both range and azimuth angle of the target simultaneously in polar coordinate as shown in figure. The demodulated echo signals from the receivers is applied to the grid of the CRT, which is biased slightly beyond cutoff. Only when blips corresponding to the targets occur, a sawtooth current applied to a pair of coils on opposite side of the neck of the tube flows. Thus, a beam is made to deflect radially outward from the center and also continuously around the tube, mechanically, at the same angular velocity as that of the antenna. The brightness spot at any point on the screen indicates the presence of an object there. Normally PPI screens are circular, with a diameter of 30 cm, or 40 cm long persistence phosphors are used to ensure that the PPI screen does not flicker. Diagram 4. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer 2. State four factors influencing maximum range of radar. ANS factors, each one marks. 1. Transmitter power. In case the radar range is to be doubled, we have to increase the transmitter power 16 times since Remax Alpha, point, 1 slash 4. 2. Minimum detectable signal. Remax Alpha, 1 slash SMIN, 1 fourth, thus reducing SMIN, the receiver has to be very sensitive, and gain of the RX should be high. But RX is more susceptible to interference as it now amplifier weak signals, rather than amplifying low power received signals. 3. Frequency and Effective Area of Antenna Remax alpha 1 slash square root lambda, or Remax alpha square root f, equals c slash f, dot this implies that increase in frequency increases the range. But, in a parabolic antenna, the beam width is given by lambda slash d where d is the diameter of the parabola. If lambda is reduced, beam width becomes very narrow, which reduces the tracking range of the radar. This is particularly is in case of a search radar, where the sweep of the antenna that covers a portion of the sky will require a longer time. If the low beam width is very narrow. Thus, radar frequency cannot be increased far too much as the radar becomes ineffective although range may increase. Also, Remax alpha square root AE. Hence, range can be increased if effective area of antenna is increased. In order to increase effective area diameter D of parabolic antenna, must be increased, which in turn reduces the beam width. 5. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Dot answer For dot target cross-sectional area. The radar cross-section of a target is the area of the target as seen by a radar. The radar cross-sectional area of the target is not a controller factor. 3. How Doppler effect can be used to measure speed. ANS, relevant correct explanation, 4 marks, the frequency shift that occurs when there is a relative motion between the transmitting station and a remote object is known as Doppler effect. By measuring the amount of frequency, difference between the transmitted and the reflected signal, it is possible to determine the relative speed between the radar unit and the observed object v equals 1.1 fx lambda where v equals relative speed between the two objects, m slash s, f equals frequency difference between the transmitted and reflected signals, hertz, lambda equals wavelength of transmitted signal, m. 4. Explain the working of MTI radar with the help of block diagram, and with suitable waveform ANS, block diagram 2m. Explanation 2M and Waveform 2M. Working Principle It compares the present echo with the previous one. If the present and previous echo are same the target is stationary, whereas if the present and previous echo are not same the target is moving target. If echo is due to moving target, the echo pulse undergoes a Doppler frequency. The received echo pulses then pass through mixer 1 of the receiver. Mixer 1 heterodynes the received signal of frequency, FO plus FC, 
with the output of the 6. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer Stalo at FO. Mixer 1 produces a difference frequency FC at its output. This difference frequency signal is amplified by an IF amplifier. Amplifies output is given to phase detector. The detector compares to IF amplifier with reference signal from the coho oscillator. The frequency produced by coho is same as IF frequency, so called coherent frequency. The detector provides an output, which depends upon the phase difference between the two signals. Since all received signal pulses will have a phase difference compared with the transmitted pulse. The phase detector gives output for both fixed and also moving targets. Phase difference is constant for all fixed targets, but varies for moving targets. Doppler frequency shift causes this variation in the phase difference. A change of half cycle in Doppler shift would cause an output of opposite polarity in the phase detector output. The output of phase detector will have an output different in magnitude and polarity for a successive pulse in case of moving targets. And fro fixed target magnitude and polarity of output will remain the same as shown in figure. 5. Define radar beacons and state their uses. 2 marks for definition and 2 marks for uses. ANS A radar beacon is a small radar set consisting of a receiver, a separate transmitter, and an antenna, which is often omnidirectional. 7. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer When another radar transmits a coded set of pulses at the beacon I.E., it interrogates it, the beacon responds by sending back its specific pulse code. The pulse from the beacon or transponder may be at the same frequency as those from the interrogating radar in which case they are received by the main station together with its echo pulses. They may alternatively be at a special beacon frequency, where a separate receiver is required by the interrogating radar. The beacons does not transmit pulses continuously in the same way as a search or tracking radar, but only to the correct interrogation. Radar beacons are used as one of the application of a beacon may be to identify itself. The beacon may be installed on a target, aircraft, and will transmit a specific pulse code when interrogated these pulses then appear on the PPI of the interrogating radar and inform it of the identity of the target. The system is used in airport traffic control and also for military purpose, where it is called identification, friend or foe, IFF. Another use is similar to that of lighthouses, except that radar beacons can operate over much larger distances. 6. State two advantages and two applications of CW radar ANS, each 2M, advantages, 1. CW Doppler radar has no blind speed. 2. CW Doppler radar is capable of giving accurate measurements of relative velocities. 3. CW Doppler radars are always on, they need low power, and are compact in size. Applications 1. It is used to give Doppler information contained in echo signal. 2. It is used to measurement of relative velocity to distinguish moving target from stationary objects. 7. Draw block diagram of radar system and explain it. ANS diagram 8. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer The diagram shows basic radar system which consists of transmitter receiver and antenna, which act as both transmitting and receiving antenna. The main function of the duplexer is to connect the transmitter to these antenna when the pulses are to transmitted and connect the antenna to these receivers when echo pulses are received. Pulse modulated magnetrons, klystrons, and traveling wave tubes, TWT, or crossed field amplifier, CFA, are used as transmitter output tubes. In the receiver for first stages usually a diode mixer is used. 
The antenna generally uses a parabolic reflector. Edited antenna can scan continuously. The scanning speed of antenna is mechanically is higher part. It is small in comparison with the time taken by pulses to return from. 8. Write the operation of pulsed radar to detect the object. ANS, 02 marks for block diagram and 02 marks for explanation. Or 9. Advanced Communication Sysidem Chapter 3. Answer There are four basic subsystems the antenna, the transmitter, receiver, and display unit. Transmitter The transmitter in pulsed radar is a magnetron. The magnetron is special a high power vacuum tube oscillator that operates in microwave region. The cavity size of magnetron sets the operating frequency. It can produce many megawatts of power. Master timing generator. The timing generator sets pulse duration, PRT, and duty cycle. The pulses from timing network trigger the magnetron into oscillations, and the magnetron emits short burst of microwave energy. Duplexer. Duplexer is special device that allows transmitter and receiver to share single antenna. Antenna. The horn antenna with parabolic reflector used to produce very narrow beam width. The same antenna is used for reception. During the pulse off time, the received signal passes through the antenna, the associated waveguide, and duplexer to receive. Receiver, the receiver is a standard high gain superheterodyne type. Display, OCRT display is known as type P or plan position indicator. OPPI display is that it shows both range and azimuth of the target.